Hey everyone, my name is Donald, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the content toggle with Ultimate Add ons for Elementor. The content toggle allows you to switch between two kinds of content. Um, you can either use it with content, templates, or even uh, saved pages that you've built with Elementor. So here's an example. So we have the annual and we have lifetime pricing. So right over here, we have the annual, and if we click this button, switches right over to lifetime so we can go ahead and show both types without crowding up our our page to have uh four pricing tables or doing four columns and people getting confused so they always have these two distinct features that you can go ahead and and see that you can also use this to toggle some upcoming and existing features so as you can see here we have uh, the existing features for Ultimate Add-ons. And then if you toggle this, you can see some of the upcoming features that are going to be coming very soon to the plugin. So let's go ahead and get started. On our services page on our test site, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna search for the content toggle. Click and drag this over here. So once we've got this, we've got a pretty basic setup here. We have on the left hand side, we have content one and content two. We have headings for content one as well as content two. And then what we want our content to include. So if we want it to be um, some text that we can type, we can also do a saved section and a saved page. So those are those three different options that you can choose for displaying whatever you want right here. You have the option of displaying regular content. So if you have this, you can insert it here. Um, you can also insert short codes or anything of that nature. And then you can go ahead and also choose save section. And then if we go to save section, it gives us uh, a selection of all of our library from Elementor that we have right here. And then if we go to save page, it does the same thing. If we have any pages that are saved, we can go in and select those here as well. So let's go ahead and dive into customizing this. Let's go to saved section. And we want the left side, content one, to be the monthly pricing. So this is a section that we've saved inside of Elementor. Uh, we won't go into how to do that, but it, you would basically create your own template and save it. And then we can go in and select it here. Now we want the heading to be called monthly. Let's go to content two. I'm going to call this heading yearly. And then we're going to go ahead to saved section and select the yearly pricing. Okay, so that's all of our content. So let's go ahead and style this up. So we have an option to default display either content one or content two. And since I'm a fan of showing people yearly, let's go ahead and show content two first. So it always load with this being shown first. For the switch style, we have a few different options. Round one, round two, we have the rectangle, and we have a label box. So we can go ahead and select which one we want to do. Let's stick with round one, and then we'll go ahead and style this appropriately. So color one and color two, basically, whenever, whichever this is pointing to, left or right, it's going to be whatever color is here. So right now, it's switched to color two. So let's go ahead and change this over to this pink. And if you notice that if we go to content one, it's green. So we can go ahead and switch this color and let's choose a, a blue. We can go ahead and choose that or a gray. We'll go to gray because we don't want people to choose monthly. We want them to choose yearly. So we go ahead to content two and we see that we have the pink. Then we also have the controller color. So right now it's set to white, but we can go ahead and change that to any color we want by selecting from here or going ahead and putting in the code up here. So let's keep this white. And then we have the size of the actual switch. So right now it's a little big, so we can go ahead and actually make this just a little bit smaller, just like so. And we have that, so it's not too in your face. Now let's go ahead and style the headings, so the monthly and the, and the yearly. So for heading one, we can make this a specific color. And then for heading two, we can also make that a specific color. 
Let's go ahead and change the topography up and let's change the size of this so it's a little bit bigger. And we're going to go also change the same thing for, for the second one. So we have those two. Now we have the ability to align this left, center, and right. I'm going to go ahead and keep this in the center. And then we also can inline this or we can go ahead and stack this. So we can also choose um, the breaking point for stacking. So it's going to default down to stack for whichever you choose down here. So it'll always be in line if you choose no. For tablet and mobile, for iPads, tablets, Android tablets, um, it'll go ahead and change to stack for that and mobile, or if you just want it for mobile phones only. You can go ahead and flick on this advanced color and select a few different options. So we have a background color we can do. So if we wanted to make this purple, or I'm sorry, pink, and then we can go up here and change all of our headings to a different color, kind of to give it more of a title, like a, like a bar up here kind of thing, we can do that. And then of course we can change our switcher color too, to be whatever we want. And then we'll go to controller color here. So we can have something similar to that. So let's go back to our headings. We can do a border, so we can do a solid border around this entire pink area. So if we wanted to do that here, we can do that. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So we can do something along those lines. Then we also have the border radius and then the padding. So if we want to control the padding for the top, bottom, left and right, we can go ahead and do that. By turning off all the padding, it'll make it smaller and skinnier. We could do specific padding for that so we can make it a little bit more clean. For the content, we have the ability to turn on the advanced and we have the background colors for the content. So if we want the background color to match, we could also do that as well. We can have those different colors and we can just go ahead and switch that out in between. We also have the same border type, border radius and padding options down here. So we can turn our padding off so it's a little bit closer to the sides. And then once again, we have our background color here. We can go ahead and choose that. For the spacing. So for the spacing for the buttons and headings, right now it's going to control the spacing between the headings and the button. So we can actually make that farther apart or make that closer together. So we can go ahead and control how far apart those are. And then of course the content and headings, we can go ahead and control the height in between these as well. Underneath the advanced, we have all of the same settings that we would normally have with the uh, Elementor page builder. So we have the margins, the paddings that will control everything around the element. We have Z index. Uh, if you're having this over top of some content or underneath, um, we can have it fade in with the entrance animation, apply our own CSS uh, using classes and IDs. And then of course control all of the backgrounds and things of that nature for the element itself. So let's go ahead and click update. And let's go ahead and view our page. So we have this down here at the bottom. We can go ahead and switch this from monthly to yearly. And we have a great looking toggle that allows us to go ahead and switch between those two sections of content with very minimal work. Everything is drag and drop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We can't wait to see what you come up with with the content toggle. And we will see you at the next one.